Okay, hello everyone. This is Samson here, and this is my first attempt at uh, mining with uh, the Ant Miner S9, and um, I just received it, you know, on Monday. But it, I ordered the, you know, it with their power supply, and um, and I knew this wouldn't work at my home, but I had a place. Uh, where I thought it would work um, because I thought I had the amperage and the volts figured out. Well, it turns out that the plug and everything in the facility where I was going to be taking this and setting it up uh, actually did not have a 220. It was a 125, even though it looked like it, uh, the right kind of plug. With um... Anyhow, it, it, it didn't work. I mean, this powered up, but this thing just wouldn't turn on. It wouldn't blink. It wouldn't even give a network. Just nothing turned on. And I'm like, I thought, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's dead on arrival. And I just started digging and started researching. And uh, some other guy on YouTube um, set up his, and he explained to me that it might have something to do with the voltage. And uh, sure enough, I, uh, you know, I started revisiting that idea. So I decided after much th thought to you know, go ahead and, uh, for now, you know, buy a 1600 watt EVGA supernova, you know, gold 10 year warranty and, and test it out. And this thing works, you know, fine. I got it plugged into a, a 15 amp surge protector. Um, maybe I should get a better one down the road, but this is a, a start. Anyhow, um, I tested it out. I powered it on and at first it kind of you know, there, there was something wrong with this uh, fan here. Um, this this cord was actually, I don't know if I can even get you guys to see it, but this cord, for some reason, inside the motor, where it goes inside the motor itself, it was it was nicking on something. Like when it, the fan would spin, I thought maybe it was the fan was, you know, hitting the cord. But it that was actually the motor on the inside hitting the cord. I mean, I don't know if this is, I mean, this is not, you know, they didn't make this fan. They just installed it. But it, there's something you guys might run into that problem. Well, I had to basically pull it out and make it tight right here. And I suspended it right here with this, you know, underneath. So it would keep it pulled down. And then I taped it up and uh, made it as tight as possible. And that keeps the cord from, you know, going back into the motor a little bit and doing, you know, nicking on whatever's going on in there. And I, after time, if that really was a nicking sound, and it really was getting nicked by a uh, part of the motor or the fan, it would have, you know, eventually chopped through the cord. I'm, I don't want to deal with that. So, yeah, I taped it. Um, something I found that was, you know, not right. And uh, I first turned it on when I figured that out. I had not even plugged in these boards. I had all these unhooked, and I was just testing to make sure that the, the main board would come on, and it did, and the fans came on. So um, this is uh, this is my first attempt now. Uh, this right here, it works, it powers up, um, but it does not because it said if it doesn't hit 2205, it will not power your equipment, and that's exactly what happened. Um, but other than that, uh, it works. Just uh, don't plug it into a 125. Make sure you got a 220, 240, or 250, I guess, volt to plug it into. And uh, figure that out. And yeah, these are the instruction that comes with these instructions here, stuff you need to check. I didn't have any loose uh, heat sinks. I got lucky with that. Um, you know, pretty good shipping material. I mean, it's it, you know, it's funny as I, I ordered this straight from Bitmain on Friday of last week and or a Thursday night of last week. And uh, when they when they first, I think it was Thursday, they they released the third batch, and it got to me. I used UPS as shipping, and it got to me on Monday. I mean that's fast shipping from China, and yeah, it came from China. I checked the, I checked the UPS tracking, and it tracked straight from China everything. So this is pretty awesome. I mean, three, you know, just over the weekend, it's back there on Monday. Um, it's just too bad I didn't have this power supply. I would have already been mining. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for you guys. And I like this idea that there's a power switch here. It's gonna get really loud. See the network is indicating that there's something going on, and then it hasn't even gotten loud yet. This, the, the power supply is almost silent, so that's uh, that's not the. Now this power supply is not silent at all, so just so you guys know that. 
Um, but this one is. Now, as you can see, it's just quiet right now. It's because it's still booting up. Give it a few seconds or a minute or so. And there it goes. Now you can hear that whistling noise. That's some air acoustics, something going on with the air acoustics going through everything. It's pretty intense. Now, it's still not booted up yet. And I noticed that it does this fault blink. That, that blinking light there. That seems to be normal. That's the indication of fault. But it takes, it's, it's, it's essentially still booting up. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was strange too, and I would always turn it off, but it'll go from fault to normal in a few seconds here, maybe a few minutes. I'm not sure how long it takes, but anyhow, I maybe I'm wrong. I mean, this is my second time turning it on. Maybe there's something wrong that it didn't catch the first time. It doesn't seem to be as loud as it was, so I don't think it's working as hard as it was. It's really, you know, it's hot air coming out there, so this will heat at it. This really... As you can see, it's... uh. It's a pretty powerful fan. So it'll heat up your house real fast. All right, there it goes. It's uh, It took all but three or four minutes, maybe five minutes, to get to normal status. And those are all lit up like they're supposed to be. And it stays that way. Now let's go to the computer. I mean, and, um... Right here, you can see that it's already earning some BTC, Bitcoin, 24-hour earnings, account balance, total earnings of 22.165. That's right there. Is uh, I guess that's before uh, confirmation. This is like after confirmation. And oh wow, yeah, this was all blank earlier. I've been going up and down, up and down, trying because I didn't have the minor user ID configured properly. I didn't know what to do, and I finally figured it out. So this is this is it, basically. It's working, folks, and um, just keep an eye on the fan thing there. And also, uh, you know, these boards got to power up and make sure you got enough juice coming out of your wall and your power supply. And you should be good to go. Now, uh, I'm playing this. I already have this listed up on Amazon to sell this. Um, but if anybody else wants to buy it, just give me a holler. <laughs> nice plug there. Happy mining. Samson out.